Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will show you part 2 of how to make a commercial for a client. I will show you how I made this commercial and how I prepared everything before I made the commercial. So in this video I will show what I would do if any other companies want me to make a commercial for them. So I've picked a random company which I thought could be interesting to do a commercial for. So I found this company called Luna, which is a banking company. And uh, apparently they've made banking all new or something like that. I'm not sponsored by Luna in any way. It's just for the example. The first thing I would do when I choose a company is go and research everything I can find about the company. So I went to their website and I just checked out all the details about it. Just look for keywords like maybe they want to show people how green they are or what is special about the brand. You can usually find that on the website. If you find it confusing looking at the website, then you can ask ChatGPT. Just search for something like Lunar or their bullet points that I should be focusing on or what are their brand? How do they brand themselves? Different question like that. And then I will open a document where I uh, write down my ideas. Like I think Lunar is a name that comes from Luna, which means moon in Latin. So I thought it could be cool to do something with space. And I also know that they've recently made a space campaign. So I thought it would be a cool match. I will write down stuff like what are the key elements that I want to showcase in this commercial. You can focus on all elements because a commercial is about 10 to 15 seconds. So you can only focus on a very few points that are important. So I thought no limits, no fees, not even in space, maybe. And no limits, no fees is kind of... Uh, some points that they brand themselves on because apparently Lunar has very little fees when you're in like they say you're out traveling sometimes when you go to get some cash there will be fees on that and there apparently the fees are low using Lunar and no limits because apparently they have low fees all around the world and then I thought okay how can we take this to the extreme because commercials you want people to remember so how can we make people remember Lunar's no limits no fees can we make limits extreme space because that's how far you can get away from Earth, so that must be no limits. Uh, so I thought that would be funny. Then you also have to find out what are their audience, like how old are their audience, and what I could find out is that they're targeting around 15 to 33 years old. So I thought the energy should be young and fast and also have some epicness to it. So I thought space would really fit into that. I had to decide what, what should this commercial be for? Should it be for Instagram, Facebook? of the cinema and I thought it would be fun to do a commercial for the cinema because when you do a commercial for the cinema you only have 15 seconds but you have 100% of people's attention how can you make it even more compelling to watch and I thought let's make it look like a trailer for a movie and that's what I did so the first thing I did was to make a storyboard and it is super important to make a storyboard. When you are working with a client, usually they want it, they probably want you to make changes during the process or maybe there's something they don't like. So if you make the animation before they have said go for a storyboard, then you can end up doing a lot of extra work. By having a storyboard, I did that on my iPad really. It's just, a, I don't even know which model this is. And then I have an Apple Pencil and then I just, um, I drew some uh, images for the commercial and as you can see here I brought it into HitFilm which is it's just a software like After Effects or anything like that it's just cheaper and I paid once not every month which was nice I made an image and then a background and then I just keyframed the position of the image so I can make an animatic and an animatic is just a living storyboard which is great because then you can cut the music and if you have a voiceover you can time it to that so that the client really knows what they're getting for the money and this way, if they can approve of an animatic, then you're good to go creating the commercial. Because then you have the timing, you have everything, and then you already know that the client will like what they're getting. So this is the animatic that I made. I then found some music on YouTube. It's just some trailer music I found. I think it's from the movie Free Guy. And I thought that sounded great. Um, this is probably not legal to use for a commercial. So this was also just to get the timing. When you're looking for music, Right off the bat, you don't have to find something that is the final music. You just have to find something that you think are almost like the the music you want, because then you have something to cut to, and then you have something with the timing, and then you can show the client the vibe that you're going for, and then you can always pay some someone to make the music, or you can find some legal music to use afterwards. After cutting the music and everything, this is what I ended up with. No limits, no fees, not even in space, maybe. Luna.
I think this is a great animatic, really. It really shows everything. I think the music is perfect. I think the voiceover is good. And I, I think it very clearly shows what they will be getting. So after that was done, I just went into Blender and I just started to replace the different um, images with CG elements. So I just started with the first clip, which, uh, which was the satellite clip. Then I brought in a satellite. I had a HDRI for the whole thing in the background. Um, like the commercial I ended up with, it's actually rendered in Eevee, so it took like two seconds per frame, which is nothing. So I made this commercial in maybe eight hours, which is really fast in my opinion. Yeah, and then I just graded the whole thing, the whole shebang in uh, DaVinci Resolve. I cut the finished uh, commercial in DaVinci Resolve also, and this is what I ended up with. No limits, no fees, not even in space. Maybe. Luna. Let me know in the comments if you like this video. Uh, this is part two of the getting a client and how to m make money off Blender. And I will of course let you know when I land a client and then we'll take it for real when we get to that point. But uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. I'll see you in the next video.